Amor Tolls' new novel, A Gentleman in Moscow, opens in 1922, where 30-year-old Count Alexander Rostov is being interviewed by a Bolshevik tribunal. Finding him to be an unrepentant aristocrat, with the bang of the gavel, the tribunal determines that he can go back to the Metropole, but if he ever comes out of that hotel again, he will be shot. Ah, I know what you're thinking. A novel set in Soviet Russia, in an era of austerity, in which the hero spends three decades in the confines of a single building. What a perfect opportunity for Tolls to investigate the depths of the Russian soul. But as Tolls sat diligently at his desk, just when he thought he had Rostov firmly in the grips of existential malaise, a willowy actress came through the revolving doors of the hotel. Mm. Within a matter of hours, the Count is standing in her suite and her dress is falling to the floor with a delicate whoosh. And in the hotel's kitchen, three collaborators convene in order to connive, conspire and cook. Knives are juggled, passports are stolen, disguises are donned. And much to the consternation of the guests and the dismay of the staff, on the 21st of June 1954, at the stroke of midnight, every telephone in the hotel begins to ring. In a word, all of Tolls' weighty aims were thwarted by the petty intransigence of his own inventions. Such is the way with mackerel, snakes and art. The tighter the grip, the quicker the slip.